¿Qué tal? Cuerna. Eh, pero ¿qué más? ¿Qué contáis? What's up, my friend? Welcome to a new episode of What's Up. Today we'll be chatting with Florencia, country representative in the Bahamas, about introducing modern technologies and innovative solutions in the Bahamas. Hi, Julianne, and hi, everyone. I'm very happy to be here, and thank you for the question. The Bahamas is a gorgeous place. The Bahamas is a small island nation that has more than 700 islands and keys, 23 mm -hmm. inhabited islands, 370,000 people, so a small community, and very close to Florida. And of course, it's, it's, it's an archipelago that it's, um, you know, fighting some, some challenges. Mm -hmm. And some, some of the challenges need, have to do with labor markets, mm -hmm. others with climate change, and yet others with infrastructure for growth. How do you see uh, modern technology and innovation improving lives in the Bahamas? Well, I see a lot of potential for that. Let me tell you a little bit about what we have done so far and what we're looking at in terms of next steps and opportunities. We introduced the current administration in the Bahamas, which has been in power for about a year, mm -hmm to um, a, a number of research groups and technologies and new ideas at MIT Media Lab last October. And as a result of that, they really focused and, and put a lot of interest into learning more about blockchain technology. Mm -hmm. And their thought was, okay, f first please help me understand what this new technology is all about, and second, how can we mm -hmm. use it in the Bahamas? And after a few years of dialogue, of sharing knowledge, of thinking together as partners what, you know, how we, we could use blockchain to tackle some of the challenges in the country. We are now working in three projects. Okay. One on labor markets to use blockchain for block search mm -hmm. to uh, simplify the labor intermediation uh, process. The second one um, to use blockchain to simplify the land titling mm -hmm. process, the land registry, and the, you know, process of setting up a business and, and the company's registry. And the third one is very exciting. I'm very happy about okay. this one. It's about um, improving the way the port works yes. and, and logistics at the port. Uh, this is great. Um, the, the role that the bank has played in promoting innovation and, te and new technology in Bahamas has is, is certainly been a wide, um, wide and, and, and broad. Absolutely. Um, I mean, related to that, what, how do you see um, the role of the private sector? Oh, it's pivotal. You know, you cannot do this just with governments. Mm -hmm. None of the challenges the Bahamas or any other country for that matter faces can be tackled uh, uh, effectively with just That's governments. True. So what we, what we did after that uh, initial dialogue with governments, we brought <laughs> MIT lab experts to the Bahamas. And we held this one day conference on blockchain mm -hmm. and the potential applicability of blockchain to the country. And it was just a, a day full of energy, tremendous. Private sector was there, civil society was there, the university was there, and also other sectors of government. For example, the chief justice and the justices of the Supreme Court were present. Mm -hmm. So it was about sharing knowledge and thinking about their country from a different lens, the lens of technology. Excellent. So based on your experience, uh, what are the two or three things you, you would wish to share with other country offices? Well, Julian, as you know, each country is different. So whatever you do, with or without technology, you have mm -hmm. to think about the country context and the mm -hmm. culture. Uh, but having said that, perhaps a couple of things that I can suggest to mm -hmm. other uh, country teams and other colleagues is, number one, there to share something totally new. Okay. Something that we haven't done before at the IDV group, something that the country literally saying, okay, what is that again? Tell me more about blockchain. Right. So dare to do it, dare to take the risk. Right. Uh, it will pay off. <laughs> and the second, it's about really being a, a partner, a true partner of, okay, how do we think through the right. challenges you face and how do we think we can apply this technology to those challenges? So think about the follow-up and the actual implementation. Right. So Florencia, you mentioned the port. Can you provide a bit more details um, for the benefit of our audience? on the port? Absolutely. Um, as some of you may know, and as I said before, the Bahamas, a small island uh, developing nation, an archipelago, mm -hmm. the, the well-functioning of the port 
there are two main ports. In Nassau and Freeport is essential for the country. Mm -hmm. The port in Nassau, which is the one we're going to help with the application of blockchain technology, is vital for the vast majority of the food that comes into a country. So it has mm -hmm. to do with food security. The cost of bringing things into a country right. has to do with uh, affordability right. of almost anything that mm -hmm. Bahamians need for their lives. That's why we think that having the opportunity of partner with government and the private sector, okay. because the port is under a concession, right. a public-private partnership, to try to streamline the way containers right. at the port are right. screened and handled to shorten the time of right. the handling, to make sure that it's more efficient for the boats to come in and out of port, it's really important. That's why I'm so excited about using blockchain at the port to improve the logistics of the port. Okay, excellent. So there you have it. Adopting modern technology and innovative solutions is crucial in making giant leap forward to improving lives. Thank, Thank you everyone you. for listening. Thank you very much.